Mimi mwanzo nataka ni mpatie kongole gavana wenyu. Na gavana Mahmoud si mgeni kwangu. Gavana tulijuana mwaka elfu mbili na saba. Disemba wakati sisi tulichaguliwa kuingia bunge la kitaifa. Mwaka wa elfu mbili na nane. Akachaguliwa tukaingia bunge. Mimi nikawa waziri pia yeye akawa katika cabinet kama assistant minister. Kwa hivyo ni mtu ni rafiki wa karibu. Utendakazi wake si, si kitu kigeni kwangu. Governor Mahmoud nimeona akitenda kazi hata wakati alikuwa mbunge. Na wakazi wa Marsabit muna jambo la kujivunia kupata gavana kama gavana Mahmoud. Mimi nataka ni mpate kongole gavana wenyu. Kwa sababu ya kuandaa tamasha hii. Tamasha ya kukuza mila na utamaduni wetu. Kule na kotoka kule pwani, sisi tunamsemo na usemo kwamba muacha mila ni mutumwa. Yule ambaye anaacha mila, anasahau mila yake, anasad Sahau utamaduni wake yule ni mtumwa wa mila za watu wengine. Lazima sisi kama binadamu tujisifu we must be proud of our culture. If you are Gare you must be proud of the Gare culture. If you are Rendile you must be proud of the Rendile culture. Huwezi kuwa we ni mrendile hapa Marsabit na unajivunia utamaduni wa wazungu. Utakuwa umepotea ndio maana wahenga walisema kwamba muacha mila ni mutumwa. We cannot be slaves of the culture of other people. Mimi nilipokuja hapa kutoka kile kiwanja cha ndege pale Roho yangu ilijihisi iko nyumbani. The Africanness in me came alive. I felt connected to Marsabit through culture. Na wakati tulipoingia katika boma hili kikundi hiki ama jamii hii kutoka jamii hii na ile jamani jamii nyingine I saw the rainbow one people but different cultures na utamaduni wetu ndo nguzo yetu our heritage is our foundation kama binadamu bila mila na utamaduni na desturi tutakuwa hatuna tofauti na hayawani ama mnyama wa porini our culture is our identity na ndugu yangu Nataka niwaambie zile community ambazo zimetuonyesha utamaduni wao hapa. Be proud of your culture. Wajua kuna kasumba hususan kwa vijana wetu. Etu ukionekana umevaa kirendile wewe hujachanuka. Kuna hiyo kasumba ya kijinga. Ati wewe ukivaa kama msamburu Unaonekana kwamba hujaendelea. Huo ni upuzi. That is our culture. And our culture is what defined the people that we are. Kwa hivyo Gavana Mahmoud Kongole kuhakikisha kwamba kila mwaka unasherekea utamaduni wa Marsabit. Na kitu chengine ambao nataka ni wakongole wakazo wa Marsabit. True culture tumeanza kuleta amani ndani ya Marsabit County. Mimi nataka niwavulie kofia wakazo wa Marsabit. Kule tumetoka na kule tuko saa hii hapa Marsabit ni tofauti. The peace that we see in Marsabit we can only clap for you for having come this far.
Na mimi nataka nisisitize hivi wakazi wa Marsabit. Bila amani hakuna maendeleo itakuja hapa Marsabit. The only ingredient amoni na inatakikana kutangulia maendeleo ni amani. Bila amani hata kukaletwa bilioni ngapi hapa Marsabit? Marsabit will never develop. Manake saa zote mutakuwa ni vita na kuvutana. But I'm happy today. Nikisimama hapa siangali mbele nyuma upande wa kulia makushoto pengine kuna kitu kitatukia because Marsabit is now peaceful. Mwenyezi Mungu langu ni kuombea wakazi wa Marsabit kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu awapatie moyo huo huo kuhakisha kwamba mumeleta amani and through peace a lot of development will come to this area. Wakati governor anatuzungusha kule kwingine nilikuwa naambia kwamba these are the forgotten frontiers. Sehemu mandhari mazuri Ukisimama pale katika ile Desert Museum ukiangalia upande wa ziwa mandhari mazuri This is what we can take to the world from Marsabit to the world Na kuna vitu vingi sana hapa Marsabit ambavyo hivyo tukitumia vizuri vinaweza kuwa kitega uchumi Watu wanafikiri kwamba utalii ni bahari na mbuga za wanyama. Lakini ile ambayo nimeona hapa Marsabit there are so many tourism tourist products hapa Marsabit ambao zikiwa well harnessed Marsabit inaweza kujilisha na ikalisha Kenya mzima kupitia vitega uchumi vile ambavyo tumeviona hapa. Ukitaka historia ukitaka kujua Marsabit na Northern Kenya in particular neno kasome ripoti moja inaitwa TGRC report ripoti ya ukweli haki na uwiano ambayo ilichapishwa mwaka elfu mbili na tisa nyinyi kama mjoavyo wakaoza Marsabit kama vile wa Kenya wengine kabla hatujapata uhuru mpaka tukapata uhuru na hata baada ya kupata independence kuna mambo ambayo hayakoenda sawa na kwa sababu ya hiyo utakuta kwamba maendeleo hapa Kenya haiko sawa kuna kaunti zingine ambazo zina maendeleo zaidi kushinda kaunti zingine kuna kaunti ambazo zimebaki nyuma sehemu Kenya moja lakini kwingine kumeenda chini kwingine kumeenda juu Some of these counties are found in coast and in northeastern. Na ndiposa tukatume ikabuniwa kuchunguza kujua ni kitu gani hiki ambao Kenya ni moja lakini kwingine kumeachwa nyuma kwingine kumeenda mbele. Na ile suluhisho ya kimaendeleo hapa Marsabit Northeastern and other marginalized counties it is the full implementation of the TGRC report. Manake report ile iliangazia yale maovu ambayo yamefanywa wakazi wa Kenya, wa Marsabit, Northeastern, wa Pwani, wa Nyanza na pia report ikapeana recommendations. Kwamba mkifanya hili na hili Marsabit itakuwa kama county zingine. The counties of the Northern Frontier District zimekuwa marginalized kwa muda mrefu sana. Hainge kuwa devolution. Sijui Marsabit na hizi counties zingine jirani zingekuwa vipi wakati huu. But through devolution angalau saa hii tunaona resources zinakuja nyumbani na governor wenyu analeta maendeleo. But there some things ambazo zilifanyika hapa Northeastern ambazo lazima ziangaliwe na suluhisho ipatikane na suluhisho iko ndani ya ripoti ya TJRC
nikiwakumbusha tu ni jambo la uzuni lakini lazima tukumbushane manake lazima lipate suluhisho ndio wakazi wa North Eastern roho zao zipumue nakumbuka mwezi wa pili kuanzia tarehe kumi mpaka tarehe kumi na ine February 1984 Muna kumbuka ni kitu gani kilifanyika hapa in North Eastern Watu waliwekwa katika kiwanja cha ndege cha Wagala over 3000 bila chakula wengine wakamiminiwa risasi in the name of disarmament violation of human rights ukiangalia katika ripoti ile ya TGRC there are recommendations there kadi tuko hapa kuna watu ambao wanalia mpaka leo kwa ile maovu ambayo yalifanyika hapa North Eastern they must be addressed for there be lasting peace in North Eastern na mimi naamini kwa sababu tuna rais ambaye ana utu ana roho ya utu ile report ya TGRC it must be implemented for North Eastern to find its peace wakati tunaandika katiba mwaka elfu mbili na kumi tulijua wazi kwamba maendeleo hayako sawa Kenya hii na katika katiba ile tukaweka kitu kinaitwa equalization fund pesa ambayo kila county itapata pesa yake lakini zile county ambazo zimekuwa marginalized toka uhuru zitapata pesa zaidi ili nazo ziinuke ziwe sawa na zile county zingine and one of those counties is marsabit counties tangu katiba ianze kazi we have seen very little of that fund kila mwaka kila county nataka kujiingiza pale hata zile ambao zimebobea kimaendeleo pia nao saa hii wanataka wapate pesa kupitia mfuko ule wa equalization fund mimi kama speaker niko pale and i'm happy manake senator aliroba ambaye alikuwa gavana wa mandera ni mwenyekiti wa kamati ya fedha na budget na naona ile harakata na sukuma kwa kisha kwamba this fund hii mfuko hazina hii inaitwa equalization fund imetoka na imesaidia counties kama Marsabit kuleta maendeleo because you cannot uwezi weka katika mezani moja county ya Marsabit na county ya Nakuru ama Nairobi kwa maendeleo mbali na ile mgao ambao unatoka treasury Marsabit county needs an extra fund ambao ni hiyo equalization fund ili ijinue iwe sawa na zile counties zingine and we are there to make sure that happens manake hii Kenya ni ya wakenya wote hatuwezi kuwa sisi ni shamba la wanyama kama wanyama wako hapa lakini kuna wengine wako sawa kushinda wengine sote tuko sawa na ndio maana tunasukuma ili hiyo pesa itoke isaidie counties kama hizi ambazo they've been marginalized for many years lengine ambalo tunatetea hususan kuleta maendeleo zaidi huku ukiangalia Marsabit ni uchanganya Burundi na Rwanda pamoja Marsabit as a county ni kubwa sasa watu wanasema tusiangalie ukubwa wa county. Tuangalie idadi ya wananchi. Mtu ambaye gavana ambaye anatengeneza barabara Nairobi anatumia pesa chache kutengeneza barabara Nairobi. Gavana Mahmud ikiwa atatengeneza barabara kutoka hapa. Ya Lami. Mpaka Marsabit anahitaji pesa nyingi lakini kuna wengine wanasema kwamba tusiangalie ukubwa wa county tuangalie idadi ya wananchi na kwa sababu idadi ya wananchi marsabi ni chache pesa yao iwe chache ni haki hiyo hizi ni mambo ambazo 
lazima tuwe na mdahalo tujadiliane Governor Mahmoud akiweka kanta mafuta na ijaze madawa isambaze katika hospitali za Marsabit kanta ile itachukua wiki mbili ikiwa si mwezi mmoja kusambaza yale madawa kanta hiyo hiyo itachukua masaa 4 peke yake Nairobi kusambaza madawa hospitali zote za Nairobi Halafu namwambia Governor Mahmoud wewe kule kwako una idadi kubwa kwa hivyo pesa yako itakuwa kidogo Hii ndio mdahalo lazima tuwe nao ili tuwe na usawa kimaendeleo Kuna mengi ambayo yamezunguziwa kuhusu mambo ya El Nino Waje hapa tulipo mkizungumza mambo ya El Nino watawashangaza hapa. Maana nasikia hakujanyesha kabisa. But I know that Marsabit has been pounded heavily by the rain. Kuna barabara ambazo hazipitiki kabisa. Sisi kama serikali mbili. Serikali ya county na serikali ya kitaifa. Husi wakati wa kuzozana. Husi wakati wa kuota kidole mwenzako. Hisi wakati wa serikali ya kitaifa ikashifu serikali za county. Hisi wakati wa serikali za county ikashifu serikali za kitaifa. Hii ni wakati wa serikali za county na serikali ya kitaifa zije pamoja zisaidie mkazo wa Marsabit. What is happening is not good leadership. As leaders we are called upon now to hold hands to help our people. Kwa hivyo yale anotendeka ni mambo ya kushangaza. Mwito wangu ni kuambia serikali za county na serikali ya kitaifa zije pamoja na kusaidia wananchi wa Kenya wanaopitia kipindi kigumu kwa sababu ya El Nino. The blame game will not help these people. because that is true leadership acha tulaimeane baadaye baada kwa mwananchi amepata huduma hii shida imepita then we can sit tukaanza kusema wewe ukufanya wewe ulifanya but for now let's forget our differences let's put our resources together let's join hands as leaders for the benefit of these people who are seated here today nikimalizia gavana mimi nataka niseme nimefurahishwa sana na maanda, maandalizi haya. Na bila shaka Mungu atuwajalie atupatie nguvu. Mwaka ujao nikipata mwaliko, mimi sita sita manake nimefurahishwa na maandalizi ambayo imefanyika hivi leo. Bringing your communities together is such a wonderful thing. Because a family that is together stays together. Hivi tandogo ndogo tunaona Marsabit ni kwa sababu jamii haziji pamoja. Lakini mtu ambaye amekuja hapa hivi leo, Murendile amepeana mkono mgare. Muel Molo amekumbatiana na Musakuye. With this haikuwezi kuwa na uhasama hapa. Lakini wakati communities zinakaa mbalimbali Muelmolo anakaa kwake Musakuye kwake Mgari kwake wanapanga maovu So such events they bring people together Na governor kudos congratulations for this initiative Sitasema mengi kwa sababu tunarudi kazini kule Nairobi mimi nataka niwaambie Marsabit we love you tunawapenda na muendele kukaa na amani manake through peace the will be development may god be with you may god give you blessings and may god make you prosper asanteni sana mimi nataka nichukue fursa hii kutangaza kwamba tamasha ya utamaduni na mila la marsabit na ziwa trukana limefunguliwa rasmi hivi leo mm.